I am so fucking mad. I swear I'm gonna internally combust if I didn't get this off my chest, like no joke. I am so dumbfounded at the lies that pour out of one person's mouth. I, I seriously cannot believe that people are eating it up. Everything she did is just, let's just forget about it. Let's just forget about the line of people she hurt for Betty, JLR, and Olivia. And the worst part is, she's not taking any fucking responsibility for it. That pisses me off. Thank you, Greg. That pisses me the fuck off. It's not like she's, you know, I'm really sorry to Tiffany and AB and Laura. And uh, I'm trying to think who was a direct hit besides the three of us from, um, from Andra and them. Um, I know the three of us. Oh, Jersey Girl is another one. Um, and a couple of people had gone back to her. But the lies and the bullshit and the no, re hey, D-Lan, and no responsibility for everybody that try to warn her about fucking these people. I warned her back in October. Back in fucking October, I warned her about them. Stay away from them. Do not fuck with them. They're not good people. Do not mess. Oh, you don't know what you're talking about. They're great people. If, and I've spoke about this privately, uh, privately, I don't know if I ever discussed it publicly, but you know, there was a time where she actually went on a live and she was like, hey Bella, and she was like, Oh, um, you know, nobody should talk about JLR, and I don't care who says that he's so bad, and mind your own business, she was talking to me, that's who she was talking to, because I try to fucking warn her about him, and about her, I was the first one to fucking warn her, and she was like, oh, shut up, shut up, shut up, I don't care, he's a wonderful person, okay, Marissa, you'll find out on your own, this was before I even knew who Andrew was, at the time, I literally thought that Andra and JLR were, were husband and wife. So I, not to sound stereotypical, but in my own head was like, well, if you can marry JLR, you must be a bigger piece of shit as he is. Because like who in their right mind would marry JLR? Just saying, no offense, no offense, but come on now. So I did try to warn her more than once. And a lot of people, you know, this is why I wrote in the description, you know, don't hate me. I'm sorry, but... I, this is about me. This is personal. Because I am fucking boiling with listening to her bullshit. I shouldn't have even listened. I really shouldn't have. But I did. Stupid me did. And, hey, Andrews. I know, but I'm saying, like, I did this back in fucking October. Stay away from these assholes. So, if, if she would have come live at any time over the course of, I don't know, the last month? Or last two weeks and been like, look... Um, I apologize to the people that I hurt, not people that are paying me, but my actual friends. Um, I'm sorry to Tiffany, who's been there for me through thick and thin for the last year. I'm sorry to AB for, uh, and I don't talk to AB or Tiffany, so it's not like I'm sticking up for my friends here. But what's right is right. Um, or AB, so, you know, and especially Laura, who tried to warn me. None of that. None of that. Uh, or the Patreons that I've lost, who I considered friends, none of that. No humbling herself, no nothing. It was, and I don't, like I said, I haven't spoke to Tiffany. I don't know if Tiffany would forgive her or not. At this point, I don't think anyone would forgive her. Except the people that are kissing her fucking ass. And you know what? They're not helping. You're not helping the situation. When you're like, oh, Marissa, Betty's so bad. Betty this. She fucking knew who Betty was, please. Marissa is not stupid. Marissa, but Betty is no longer an asset to Marissa because Betty's subs are fucking tanking. Tanking. While Marissa sits up there, lies through her teeth, playing everybody like a fucking fiddle, and everyone just, oh, Marissa, Betty was so bad to you. Oh, Marissa, Betty did this to you. Bitch, shut the fuck up.